as we head into the holidays, we need to hear what people are talking about while oh, sipping Lord. on their eggnog. That's why we couldn't wait to get the juicy scoop. Time to hear what's happening in the world of social media. This is The Social Feed with Essay. And you know what? Today, joining us in person, finally, <laughs> is Essence Magazine's director of social media, Charisma DeBerry. Hey, Charisma, welcome hey, back. Hey, Charisma. Nice to see you, you in studio. person. I'm so happy to be here with all of <laughs> so you. We're happy awesome. to have you. Can we just jump right in? Because I really want to know. What is happening with Tristan Thompson? What is the tea? Okay, so third trimester Tristan Thompson, as Twitter <laughs> has dubbed him, uh -uh. because he seems to always act a fool when women are pregnant with his child. Yeah. Mm. And this apparently is his third go around. A woman named Marilee Nichols is alleging that she just had his baby and she's suing him for paternity and also child support. Mm. Now, that is not even the tea. Apparently, legal documents show that he threatened her and offered her $75,000 no. to either not have the baby at all mm -hmm. or to keep the child a secret. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Mary Lee is saying that this entire relationship that they had went on while he was with Chloe, which is so incredibly unfortunate. Oh. <clears throat> she keeps taking him back. So have you heard anything from Chloe? Yes. She says, according to people, that she is so sad and that she thought he would change. And my heart goes out to her because I'm going to spill my own tea. I was in a relationship with someone who had a baby with someone else during our relationship. Wow. Oh, and it was devastating. It is heartbreaking. Oh, so yeah. my heart really goes out to her because those yeah. serial cheaters, awful. And you know what I like about um, her fans is that they're not going after the girl, they're going after him. Yes. They're saying it's time for him to just stop. He's just he's just not the one for her. So I I I feel Stop. refreshed by that because yes. you know a lot of times they go after the woman, mm. but it's him. They're going after Trish. Stop torturing her. Yeah. Stop yes. torturing her. Just you don't want to do right. You don't want to do the right thing. And what it appears like is his character is really poor that he would even make that offer to the woman in the first exactly. place. Exactly. And threaten to never be involved in the child's life even if she does have That's baby. bad. That's that is bad. bad. All okay, Charisma, <laughs> we've been seeing a lot of dating rumors as well with a few celebs. So what's the scoop on them? Yes, so according to Essence.com, hey, y'all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Erica Badu has just revealed a new love in Ooh. her life. Ooh. Yes, 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 his name is Jerron The Secret. And we're just finding out about him, so oh, it fits. he was a secret. Yes, he was okay. definitely a secret. <laughs> and she posted on Instagram that he is her guy. She referred to him as my guy, which is Ooh. so sweet Aww. because she is putting her stamp on that thing. Okay. And she is saying she posted a whole thread of pictures of them mm -hmm. uh, all these different places. So it really? appears they've been together for a yeah. while. Ooh. But listen, there was one picture where they were sporting matching untraditional rings on this finger, the oh. important finger. Mm -hmm. So people are speculating that they're either engaged or maybe a secret ceremony has wow. gone down. What do you think about a May-December romance? He's 27, she's 50. Oh, I ain't got nothing wrong with that. Mm -mm. <laughs> nothing at all. So let's move on. What's, <laughs> what's all the drama we're hearing about Lil Wayne and this uh, bodyguard? Now, that's drama. Yeah, so Lil Wayne, Allegedly, let's sprinkle some allegedly. So okay. Everybody yeah. sprinkle yeah. Allegedly, allegedly. allegedly all over this story. Uh, um, his uh, bodyguard uh, is alleging that he mm. pulled out an assault rifle after the two got into a physical altercation at his Hollywood Hills mansion. Oh. Now they're not saying why they got into an altercation, mm -hmm. but it escalated and the bodyguard went to the police with this story saying Lil Wayne pulled out an assault rifle to force him out of his mansion. Wow. And allegedly, according to TMZ, he, the bodyguard, went to the bathroom because Lil Wayne told him to leave, but he had to make a pit stop first, and I think that kind of made Lil Wayne mad, Ooh. and he went and got a gun. Now, the thing is, Lil Wayne is what? A felon, because remember, oh, that's Trump right. pardoned him, so he not supposed to have no uh, weapons at all around him. Tap wow. your neighbor and say allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly, allegly, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Yes. He is saying, though, that this did not happen. Wow. Let's just put that out there. Exactly. <laughs> He's saying none of this happened. The bodyguard is saying it. Right. So, you know, so Ooh. what do you think is going to happen? I mean, I think there's going to be an investigation, and somebody might get a check, and this might go away, or somebody's going to jail. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, can we talk about, okay, we love a great story, but when it comes to giving back, especially during the holidays, um, I want to know, has Santa come early? Santa? For some? 
Yes, yeah, Santa has come early for some, and a lot of celebs are giving back in beautiful ways. But I love, I love this story about Robin Williams because we know that he passed away in 2014. Yeah. But a lot of his good deeds are just coming out. So people are saying that he, um, that he gave $50,000 to a food bank in Seattle in 2008 and no, and he never spoke about it. Oh. So he never wanted people to know all of the good things that he, re he was doing in his community in Seattle, but he was. And this is just coming out over seven years later. I love that. Yeah. yeah that that's he didn't really want nice. attention for that mm -hmm. and he just did it. That's really inspiring. Yeah. yeah, and it just goes to show you that celebs are good people too. Yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> Garcia went to the mission on, before Thanksgiving. Yes, I did. You, I, went to, as well. I do Project Angel Food during yeah. Thanksgiving. That's and Munchkin amazing. is always giving away, you know, <laughs> okay, food and helping. And, yeah. You know Thank what I mean? It's, you. Like, it's, it's just time like, to do that. Exactly, because we have to use our platforms. We really I think do. We should use our platforms for good. So I'm glad to see that, you know, Mr. Williams, all the stuff that he's doing is going to come out. Yeah. There's yeah. going to be even more stuff probably about him. Yeah. yeah. I would agree. I mean, by all accounts, he was just a phenomenal human being. Yes. He was. Yes, he oh, was. Wow. Charisma, thank you so much for stopping by and giving us a scoop on everything that's happening on our social feeds. For more on the latest celebrity news and all things social, be sure to head on over to Essence.com to get all the deets.